Welcome to Vicoco, the vegan online cooking school. And today it's all about sprouting. And in particular, how to sprout lentils. There are so many great benefits to sprouting. Because a sprouted grain or a sprouted legume has more protein than before, it's easier digestible, the nutrients are better absorbed by your body. So it has so many benefits. And I know some people might be concerned when it comes to sprouts, because it happens occasionally that you hear about these outbreaks of E. coli of sprouts. And that's usually with sprouts that are in the supermarket. Maybe there was something wrong in the processing. Maybe there was something wrong in the storage. That's why I like to sprout the sprouts at home. You have complete control over them. You can never be 100% sure, but you can trust your eyes. You can trust the smell a little bit. If it smells or looks a little bit funky, throw it away. The only time I had issues is actually when I use the sprouting glass, which is kind of ironic because these are made for sprouting. But the problem is, the one thing that I found out for sprouting is that you don't want to cram the lentils or the seeds too tight to each other. You want to give them a lot of space. And if you put them in here, they are all sitting on top of each other. And it can happen that there's some mold, there's some bacteria. When I use these, sometimes it happened to me that they went bad. That's why what I recommend is to get one of these, PPA free of course. So this is just a hard type of plastic that is kind of flat. You don't want to have really high sides. You can even use these ones in glass, but then again, it gets a little bit heavy. So also use ones with uh, low edges. And all you do is you take your lenses or your seeds, anything you want, and then you just spread them out. You don't want to overcrowd it again. So just spread them out a little bit. So there's a little bit of space in between each of them. And then the first step is to soak them overnight. You can soak them in the container. Make sure you use filtered water. Depending on where you live, you might be able to use tap water. But if you cannot use the tap water, make sure to use filtered water. And the same for the draining. Because the next day, once they've been soaking for eight hours, you want to take a seed, you want to drain them, you want to rinse them again, and then you want to put them as dry as possible back into the container and then drain and rinse them twice a day. So once in the morning, once in the evening, and after three or four days, they will be sprouted. And the timing and everything depends a little bit on your climate and on the weather at the moment. Right now it's summer, so the sprouts go really fast. In winter time, they take a little bit longer. And if you're in a very humid country, then you might want to cover it also with a cheesecloth or with any type of kitchen towel, because there might be some flies that want to fly in there as well. And you do want to prevent that. And let me show you what it looks like on day one, day two and day three. So as you can see, these ones have been soaking and they have been drained and rinsed once. And they are day one. They have these tiny little tails but it's not fully developed yet. In winter, there probably won't be any tails yet, but this is summer, day one. And on day two, you can see the tail has already grown quite a bit. It's almost double the size, almost ready to be honest. But when it's ready, it looks like this. So you have about one and a half, one centimeters of tail at the end of the lentils. This is day three and they're ready to eat. When it comes to lentils, the brown ones work the best. This is the same process for all of the other seeds and legumes, but of course there's different timings. So some you need to soak them for a shorter period of time and then you also need to repeat this process for longer times as well. Because chickpeas usually take longer than lentils, for example, and then some seeds that are very tiny and they don't have a big shell, they might only need a tiny little bit of soaking time and also the whole process would be shorter. So once they are at the correct stage, you can just drain and rinse them again. If you want to use them right away, just put them on your salad, on a sandwich. They always taste amazing. They're a little bit crunchy, but you can also put them in the fridge and they will last for a couple of days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which type of seed or legume you like to sprout the most. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.